Oh, hello. This is David with Mudslinger Pottery here in Charlotte, North Carolina on a rainy afternoon. And I'm out in the studio and I'm working on bread bowls. So this is one of the examples here. And I'm going to throw one for you and show you how it's done and explain a little bit to you. And also give you a great recipe for beer bread. So let's get down here and give this a try. Okay, so I'm using right at three pounds of clay. And this is uh, a high water clay called speckled brownstone. High water is uh, out of Asheville, North Carolina, which is nice for me. I've got a local supplier that can supply it for us. So I find centering is a little bit easier if I uh, work the clay a little bit. So I'll cone it up and then work it back down. And I think having a centered piece of clay is probably the best tip I can give you for throwing better pots. If you can center a piece of clay and keep it centered, it's going to be a whole lot easier to throw a nice pot. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to use one finger and push it on down in here. Center this up and create the floor. So now I'm I'm making these and I'm hoping they're going to be used. And that's why I give a, a beer bread recipe and it. It also helps when somebody buys something, they think, oh, wow, I can go take this home and I can make a, a beer bread. So I'm going to really be careful about the depth of my, my floor. I would rather it a little thick to begin with. And then uh, thin it out a little bit. because I want a foot on the bottom of these. I like a foot, I think it looks better on the pot. But I also don't want the bottom of my pot too thin. So I'm trying to find that happy medium in here. And the best way is just keep checking. And all I do is I take that needle tool, stick it into the clay, and see where I stand. So I can put my finger right there and I can see that's how deep it is. So I'm just gonna stretch it out just one more time and I'll be good. That'll give me a, a good thickness on the floor and also enough clay to uh, create a nice foot on there. So I'll take a, a red rib, a red uh, mud tool rib and I use that to uh, compress the bottom of the clay. This helps to keep from cracking. And I try not to let water pull up in the bottom of the pot. So I don't like to add a whole lot of water. So the way I avoid that is I just take the sponge and run it on the inside of the pot to wet it up. And then I use the sponge on the outside as I'm throwing. Now as I'm throwing this pot, I am pulling it out just a little bit and pulling it in a bowl shape. But when I get up to the top here, I want to leave a little bit. I want to leave a fatter rim because like I said, these pots will get used. So if I have a real thin rim up here, it's going to cause trouble and it's going to, that's where it's going to crack when you're putting it in and out of the dishwasher, pulling it in and out of the cupboard. So a little bit of more meat on there will help it to prevent that. So I keep uh, using the sponge and I keep pushing this in. This is where the most of the clay is down here on the bottom. And if I push it in, then I can use it and pull it up. Instead of cutting it all off, I can 
push it back into the pot. So I'm pretty much just coming straight up, trying to keep a nice rhythm here as I pulled it up here, and leave a little bit up here on the top. Once again, I just run the sponge on the inside of the pot to give it a little bit of water. I'm pushing that clay in in the bottom so I can help even that up and pull that up to the top. Slow and steady, you want to keep this pot even. You want to keep it centered. And you remember, have to remember that as you pull up, you've got to slow down on a pot like this because that pot's going out and to get a full revolution is a little longer up top than it is at the bottom of the pot. Okay, like I said, I make these a little bit thicker, like a mug, I would fuss over a little bit more. I want a mug to be fairly light because you're gonna have to pick it up and drink it and you're gonna add water to it or your favorite beverage, as the case may be, which will make it a little heavier. So I like to make a nice weighted mug that probably comes in a little under a pound, and I like that. Okay, so I was talking about the beer bread. So I've got a recipe that I will share with you that is pretty simple. Beer, sugar, and flour. Because the beer will supply the yeast. Okay, now you can see how this pot comes out. You don't want a pot that folds in on itself to make a bread bowl because if it does, it'll be hard to get that bread out. If that bowl comes out, it'll make it easier for that bread to come out, which is ultimately the goal. Let's clean this up a little bit. And I've got a, a little tool that I use to make the foot. I used to use just a credit card but I found some of this harder plastic and I find that this is just a little little easier to work with so I want to create a foot and all I do is take that that little tool that I've just drilled a hole right here and then cut it off to make like a half round circle and then I can use that to push up against the clay on the bottom make a nice rounded foot which is going to mimic the uh, the rim on my pot. So now I've got a uh, stiff metal rib. These do not bend. It's not one of those flexible ones. And I use this to uh, clean up and shape the pot. I sell these in my Etsy shop and I'll add that link to it too. And what these are nice for is they they basically trim the pot while I'm throwing they even the walls up since I started using these I can definitely see a difference in my throwing and the quality of my pots the evenness of the walls it just scrapes that clay away so they just work great And the nice thing about it is it's not going to lose that edge. I'm not sure how you what you would have to do to uh, to lose that edge on there. Unlike the wooden ones that I used to use, that I would pick it up one day and look at it and like think, oh my gosh, no wonder my pots aren't uh, coming out the way I wanted them to, because that edge was so worn down it didn't didn't do what it did originally. Okay, last little trick. I 
take a chamois, just a small piece of chamois, and I put it on the edge of my pot and squeeze in on either side so it creates that rounded rim which mimics my foot at the bottom. So let me clean this out a little bit. And I will cut this off and I'll show this to you. Wire in underneath there, keep it real tight to the bat. This is another good trick with the, uh, the metal tool. I can use it to uh, lift that bat up by prying it off. So there it is. You can see how the, the top rim kind of mimics that foot. So there we have it. And I've got a little recipe right here for beer bread. And I will share that with you. And I'll also share it in the description, but I'll let you see the, uh, the photo of it here. So real simple, flour, sugar, beer, and a little bit of butter. And we tried uh, some apple cider butter one time that worked out wonderfully. We came back in the kitchen and it, it just smelled like apples. It was really, really good. So make your own bread bowl and then uh, go make your own beer bread. So if you do, write me in the comments. Uh, let me know how it went. So thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye.